Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments with a continuation of the solution series to Excel BI's LinkedIn challenges. And like I've said in previous videos, if you're not following the Excel BI LinkedIn page, you should if you want to boost your Excel game. This is challenge 340 and what do we have here? Basically, we have just one column of data that's for our source or input and we are required to generate this result which is just a grouping of those dates by the year and the half of the year they fall into where first half is January to June, second half is July to December and for each of those periods you want to get what the minimum and maximum dates are. So in a case where there's only one date that falls within that period you see that the mean and max are essentially the same. I have solved this you know, using a formula solution and a pivot table in a previous video but this one I'm going to be using Python but if you think about it really it's just a group by meaning you're grouping by a column or a group of columns and then you're doing a subtotal or an aggregation of some other column so same concept so it's more like a pivot table or using the new group by function in Excel or using you know the group by method in pandas and python so that's what we are going to show in this video let's get into it all right so this is our data and the first thing we're going to do is to write an equals to py so that excel knows that we are going into python mode right and do tab so now we are in the python environment the first thing is to get our source data which is this basically right i know that i'm going to use this a couple of times so i would love to make this a variable so that i can reference it you know subsequently so i can call this df right and you know how python works right the last line is typically what's executed so i've assigned that range to be equals to df and i'm just saying here output df so i press ctrl enter right it gives me a python object and i can convert it into a value of course if you hover over click here you can see you know what's in there right but you can also come in here and you can change this to an excel value or you press the shortcut ctrl alt shift m it's a mouthful and a handful <laughs> all right but that's the data frame don't bother about the funny looking format here but that's what you have so don't forget that we want to group you know based on the year and the half of the year so it means that we need the year right so i would create another column you know which would be the year column so i'll say df and i'll call that column you know year and it's going to reference of course that date column that we have so it's referencing you know the date column okay and it's going to use you know the dt method to say okay fine if it's a date time you know can you give me the year of this date time so dot dt dot year so this is just saying that get the year you know of this date right and then i'm just outputting my data frame again here so now we have two columns in there we have the date column and we've had uh, we have now a year column that has been added the other thing we need of course before we can do the grouping is also to add you know the half of the year that this date belongs to now if that already exists you know as a python method for example like dt dot half you know then i just do the same thing but if that doesn't exist i probably can just create mine right and using a simple logic i get the month of that date if the month of that date is less than or equal to six it's first half one h otherwise it is two h so when you don't have you know a function already natively that can help you do the work you simply just result to lambdas that's kind of what we do in excel too right where we just create our own lambdas which are like you know we're creating our own user defined function so i'm going to use the same concept here you know just to also demonstrate it so i'm going to do df and i'm going to create a column called half that's what it's going to be called and it's also going to reference of course you know the date column okay and then here i can use a lambda so i'll do dot apply I pull up a lambda and then I have a variable. The variable here, I want to call it x. What x is, is x is representing at every point, you know, as in the elements in this df date. So what does this mean? It means that the first time, you know, when you are going through it, x will represent the first value here, which is 18th April 2023. It will perform whatever calculation you give it and get the result. The next time x goes in, x would then be, you know, 15th of September 21. The next time it will keep going that way. So x here just represents each of those values. So what do you want to do with them? You want to return, you know, one H. That's what you want to do. You want to return one H if what? The month of that value. 
right is less than equal to six that's correct right so if it's less than equal to six you want the result to be one h else you want the result to be two h meaning that it's in the second half of the year that's basically what it is okay so let's see what our df looks like now if we are fine okay so now we have our date we have our year and we have the half so once we have this we really can just do the grouping now which is we want to group on the year and the half and then we would have you know an aggregation that we do okay so let me go in here and then use sometimes you know these cells just start acting funny okay so now we are going to do df dot group by meaning we want to group you know the data frame and they are now asked by what column if it was a single column i could just give it in there right i just say yeah or i'll say half but now in this case we are grouping by two columns so i'll provide a list to the group by right so i'll say here that's square brackets and then i do yeah mind your case <laughs> it's not like excel you know <laughs> and then i do half so meaning you know i'm grouping by the year and you know half okay that's that and then this is the aggregation part what do you want to do if i wanted to get like just the minimum you know dates pretty much i could just do dot mean something like this let's see what the result looks like okay so you can see that for each year and a half it gives me you know the mean right i could also have done the max okay so that's mean that's max but now i want to do both of them together in that case it's easier for me to use you know the add function which is the aggregate function so the, the aggregate function i tell it what column i'm aggregating on and i'll tell it the type of aggregations i want to do when it's single i can just provide it as a single value when i'm doing multiple aggregations like here mean and max i can provide it as a list so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to change this and say you know do an aggregation okay and then you give it you know i mean a dictionary right first thing is you're saying i want to give it a date this is the column that i would be you know aggregating on right and then you now say the type of aggregation you want to do in this case i'm doing two things so i open square brackets first thing i want to do is what is do a mean and the next thing i want to do is what is do a max okay so i close the list of what i want to aggregate by i close you know the curly bracket and then i close the last bracket and this should be fine i think let's see excellent so now we have the year we have the half then we have the minimum date and we have the maximum date okay you can compare it with the result i guess it's correct the only thing that looks kind of off to me is the fact that you know where the headers are and you know some of these blank you know rows are looking very funky and that's really just because of you know some multi-column index that you have so what i would just do maybe to fix that and make it look at least cleaner to my eye is just to do a reset of the index so i could just do dot you know reset underscore index you know so that i can have this year and a half come you know above here and just have it look i mean much like what i would want it to look like let's do this okay and this is much better and excellent again you realize that it wouldn't make sense right not to have min and max here because if not what would then be like oh what does this column represent this is date this is date what's the difference between the two of them so this makes sense and this pretty much you know as it gives you what you want so it's more like doing simply you know a pivot table in excel where you are grouping on certain columns and then you're doing an aggregation on maybe a particular column and you're doing multiple aggregations on one column or you are doing an aggregation on multiple columns but that's kind of how you know to set it up not the most difficult you know if you kind of follow through but not the easiest as well <laughs> if you like this video please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments for now I'm out.